This kite is beginner level. Get ready to make the kite that helped discover electricity. Hi, and welcome to Activity TV. I'm Cliff Quinn. Today I'm going to show you how to build a traditional diamond kite. Sometimes we use tools that require supervision, like scissors. So have fun creating your kites with an adult helper. Here's what you'll need to get started. A garbage bag, two wooden dowels, string, cloth tape, scissors, yardstick, magic marker, toothpicks, and ribbon. To print out a list of supplies and step-by-step -step instructions, please visit www.activitytv.tv. Thanks to Ben Franklin, the classic diamond kite is the most recognized kite in the world. It's easy to make and fun to fly. So let's get started. I'm going to use a plastic garbage bag to make the diamond kite. And we're going to measure 26 inches up and 26 inches across, okay? And I'm going to use a yardstick to get those dimensions. And from the top of my kite, six inches down, I'm going to put a little bit of a mark. The next thing I'll do is I'll take my yardstick and I am going to lay it down and I'm going to go all the way across to the 26 inch mark right there. Okay. And now what I've done, I've created some measurement points that I can use to develop the perimeter or the shape of my diamond kite. So now what I'm going to do is I'm going to take my scissors and I'm going to cut out the shape of the diamond. There we are. And now this material we don't need. Okay, now that our kite sail is all cut out, we have to take and prepare the sticks that we're going to use to frame the kite. And I have some dowels and they're going to be placed on the kite just like that. And now we're going to take these dowels and we're going to attach them to the sail with some cloth tape. And I've just taken some strips and put them on to some wax paper so it's easy for me to peel off. Now what I'm going to do with this cloth tape is I'm going to place it underneath the corner of my sail. And I'll take my finger and I'll press it down real good, okay? and I'm going to put my dowel right in the center of the point. And then I'm going to take the tape, I'm going to fold it over, and I'm going to push it down with my fingers, okay? And I'm going to make sure that it's stuck real well on both sides, the top and the bottom. Then the same thing over here. Now, that's done. And I've taken the spine and put it underneath the crossbar and I bring it right up to the point. All right, we're going to take another piece of tape. Look at that. That, that looks real good. Now, this is a typical diamond kite. Now a diamond kite has what's called a bow. And we're going to take and, and put a piece of string between this end and this end so we can take that string and tighten it up and make the kite have a bow just like that. But before we do that, we're going to do one thing. We have to take and fasten the spine and the spar together. So what we're going to do is tie the string around the two sticks where they cross.
Okay, now that we have our frame attached to our sail, we're gonna have to make a, a bowline and we're gonna have to attach the bowline from this side of the sail to this side. I just cut a piece of tape about two inches long and we're gonna take this toothpick and we're gonna set it down on top of the tape. On the sticky side, we're gonna take the end and we are going to just fold it over like that and press it down real good with our finger. Then the same thing over here. I'm gonna fold it over and press it down with my finger, okay? Now, what we're going to do is we're going to take a toothpick and make a hole through our cloth tape, okay? Right there next to the toothpick that goes on the inside. So we'll do that one more time on the other one, okay? And now, this toothpick is actually too long. We don't need the toothpick to be that long. So I'm gonna break the toothpick off on one side. You see how easy it is? And just take and break the toothpick off on that side. And I'll just set this over here. And I'm gonna put it all the way up to where you can see the white material on that tab. We call this a mounting tab, okay? And then I'm gonna take the same thing on the other side. Now what we're going to do is we're going to take a piece of string and of course the string has to be longer than it is side to side so I'm going to have some extra on this side I'm going to have some extra on this side and then I'm just going to take and snip it off and I'm going to put this string through these little holes right here look at that and now what I'm going to do is I'm going to take and I'm going to tie this string real tight now I have my bowline attached to that side. I brought it across and I went through the little hole we made on the opposite side. Notice that I'm, I'm pulling on the string just a little bit. I'm looking for a measurement from the string to this stick right here, about three inches. So what I'm going to do now is I'm gonna tie a knot over here on this end and fasten it permanently. And then I'm gonna take my scissors and I can cut off all that I don't need. There we go. Now, what I've done is I've created a bow. And the bow is very important for the kite. The bow makes the kite fly real well. But to make it fly even more stable, we're going to add a tail. So what I've done is I've made a tail from some ribbon and we're gonna take and attach the ribbon to the bottom of the kite. Now, the important thing to remember is when I'm putting the tape onto the tail, half of the tape goes on the tail and the other half goes on to the sail of the kite. And I think that will make a real strong joint. I think this is going to be a great flying kite. Thanks for joining me today. I'm Cliff Quinn and good winds to you. To learn how to attach a string to your kite, check out Fly a Kite in the On Demand menu. Want to continue the fun? Well, there's always more cool activities to check out on our website. Just visit www.activitytv.tv. Made for On Demand.